Hi Thomas, you want a lift? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'm nervous. Are you nervous? Always. So we're going to the we're going to the premiere of uh, your film Kursk. Correct. Yes. Yeah, it's based on the real accident, the submarine accident with the Kursk uh, submarine. Right. In it's, 2000. It's about a submarine that. Uh, you, suffers from an, uh, an accident and some of them survives it's, they're captured in the body of this submarine and the Russian government is trying to get them out their equipment is too old they're being offered equipment from internationally which yeah. was a huge opportunity uh, to create an inter international collaboration yeah sweeping aside Cold War suspicions and all of that. So it, it could have been a historical turn in history. And in the, in the movie you can see what happened instead. Yes. I mean, you have a festival yeah. with a theme yeah. about the apocalypse. It's true. And of course, this movie is an apocalypse for some nuclear families. Yeah. And in more, more than just for these families, it, it becomes the end of the free press in Russia. From that press meeting, which is in the movie, yeah. where everything goes bazonkers and onwards, the Russian press has been is no longer free. No. Uh, so it was the end of a time to some extent, and in, in, in its own way, an apocalypse. Well, there's a couple of themes in this movie that has been recurring throughout my career. Yeah. And, and yes, this is about groups closed family structures, even in the submarine, but also amongst the women. I don't know why I've always been attracted to this. Uh, maybe it's because I grew up in a hippie commune. Yeah. And um, from I was seven to I was 19, my family was um, enlarged to 12 mad people. In <laughs> really? <house. laughs> and I who loved are, Who are they? You know, uh, you know, naked, <laughs> academics uh, having a good time in, in a house and I really I, I miss it I miss that sense of togetherness yeah. that we shared in that house it was amazing you have such a group of wonderful actors in this film there are as you mentioned uh, um, show nerds and there is also Lea Seydu and uh, Max von Sydow and Colin Firth how was it working with this uh, wonderful ensemble well, I can say without lying and then without being a publicity person that each one of them <laughs> uh, was a fantastic experience. Yeah. Uh, Colin Firth is just such a gentleman. He's a superstar in the world, but he's still so prepared, so humble, uh, not on drugs, on time, <laughs> so friendly and open and even nervous <laughs> before he starts shooting. <laughs> You know, uh, he's a wonderful guy. Yeah, and the film is also, should have been the last film of uh, a Swedish actor, Mikael Nyqvist. Yeah. We, um, yeah, it was so sad. We shot uh, some days with uh, yeah. Miki, and he um, was the warmest and most lovable person I've met in a very long time. All, all actors around him and crew members just em embraced every moment with him. Yeah. Uh, and he, but we only made it halfway through his part. Um, and then he died. Yeah. And uh, we tried desperately, actually, in the editing, to work something out because I wanted. I wanted to honor his last yes, of course. shootings, but it didn't. It didn't make sense because no. we only had half of the material, and we could not make it make sense. It was actually uh, really sad as well. All right, so here we are. Okay, we stop the car, and I jump out. And we jump out. Perfect. Are you gonna come with me? I will come with you. Definitely.